It is now 644 and at least 1 in 59 children in the United States are on the autism spectrum. The numbers from the CDC represent a rise in the disorder. And as more people are diagnosed, new ways to keep them safe continually surfacing. And I witness news reporter Erica Ritchie is live in the control room. Erica, we understand that this uh, latest idea involves a seatbelt cover. Yeah, that's right. It does, you guys. It's so simple. It's just a Velcro strap that attaches to the chest strap of a seatbelt. But parents with children of autism, uh, they say that it really offers them such comfort in the event of a car accident. If there was an accident, he absolutely would not have any idea what to do. He might, you know, react I know, isn't completely it? wrong. So Margaret Cole's son, Cameron, that you see right there, has autism. She says it's always front and center in her mind what would happen if they were in an accident and she couldn't tell first responders about Cameron's disorder. With this, she won't have to. It's a seatbelt cover letting first responders know that the person wearing it is on the spectrum. The project was spearheaded by the Norfolk County Sheriff's Department in Massachusetts. The sheriff, they're saying, he got the idea from a program in the U.K., but it's the first he knows of here in the U.S. So not just police officers, but any first responder may happen upon a scene where a mom or dad's incapacitated and the child in the car is on the autism spectrum. Uh, they may be nonverbal uh, or their communication skills may not be such that they can um, discuss what's happening with that first responder. It just makes everything simpler for us, for fire, uh, for any first responder. And it's really about getting that child or that individual to safety as quickly as possible. Those seatbelt covers right now are free and they are available at any police department in Norfolk County in Massachusetts. Live in the control room this morning, I'm Erica Ritchie, Eyewitness News.